For this block I first made a table and a sketch. Based on this, we will draw the block and then paste the table. To start, first draw the L profile and the size shown in the first row. There are many methods and styles to choose from, for me working with rectangles is the fastest. So let's draw a rectangle with origin 00. The height is 30 and the width is the thickness, namely 3. And then draw another rectangle with origin 00 whose length is 20 and height is the thickness, namely 3. Then explode the rectangles. Make the roundings. R1 is 3.5 and R2 is 2. You can check the dimensions, but it's worth noting that if any of the dimensions are wrong, the block will still take the values given in the table in that night. Create the block. If you have drawn a 0, 0 starting point, you do not need to specify the base point separately. Select to open the block editor to go straight to the editor. Use the auto constrain command. If this dockable authoring palettes is not visible, you can turn it on here. Create the parameters based on the sketch. Start with the vertical dimension, this is the A. Then the horizontal parameter, which is B. The thickness of the material is T. The value of T must be given here too, as it cannot be T, it should be T2. The concave curve is R1. And the convex arc is R2. This must be given again, letter 3 be equal to R2. Do a quick comparison. When all parameters are ready, we can add the block table. Put the board in a place you like. The number of grips should be 1. Use the first icon to create a new table. Choose the parameters you need. You can even copy-paste the parameters. With the second icon you can add more columns to the table. The section size should be a string parameter. The order of the parameters can be changed by a simple drag and drop. Copy-paste works for this column too. Save the block and test it. You can adjust the size of the completed block from the menu or from the properties panel. But you can also use the grips and return to the table at any time. You can change the order of the columns. The pop-up menu of the block is always based on the first column. Thanks for watching.